Hi everyone, in this short Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you a workflow for creating 3D textures using high quality AI generated image textures, like the ones you see on the screen now. To do this, I'm going to use a program called Substance Sampler, which reads more information from a flat image that we can plug into Blender to create 3D effects. To make this little well scene, I'm just going to add a plane and a simple cylinder. And then in edit mode, I'm going to subdivide the cylinder and remove the top and the bottom. And then in edit mode for the plane, subdivide that a few times. We'll need this later for the displacement map to be able to change the shape of the mesh. So now I'm looking at the UVs for these objects. These ones are super simple just by default, but here's what they look like. That is where the texture will go on to the model. So right here you can see I'm applying a high quality flat image texture to the um, cylinder to make the well. But as you can see, no matter what I do, no matter how I move it, it still looks flat. And you can draw more height data out of that. But for now we're going to get a few more textures from the Dream AI add-on. So you can see these run here really fast. And this AI just uses a text prompt and a few other settings to generate images. So using those images, I'm going to go over to um, Substance 3D Sampler, which is an Adobe product that comes with uh, 3D Painter and Designer. And here's the program. So what this will allow me to do is drag the image textures in like that. And I'll, uh, I can tell an AI to generate more data from the image. And you can tune quite a bit, but you can see in this video, I, I didn't have to tune much at all. And now you can see it looks 3D. It's actually displacing the surface in a way that matches um, kind of what your eye expects with shadows and, and depth. So basically you can export all of these different um, types of data as maps that Blender can read and apply to a model. So here I'm just creating a folder to export all the maps. Now back in Blender, I click on the cylinder, go into the shading tab, add a material, then select the principled BSDF shader, and then hit Control Shift and T, and this will bring up the file browser. Navigate to the folder you made to save your maps. Select all of the maps, and then click on the Shader Setup button, and it will import all of the maps plugged into the channels they need to go on the material. So now you can see um, Blender tends to read the height information at a much larger scale. So you have to tone that down a little. And any of these nodes you can edit like you would normally in Blender. So if you need more math nodes or more height, you can do that. Now here I'm just showing adding the kind of rock material for the ground in Sampler again. And here just a little bit of tuning to add some fineness to it. And then I'll Export these maps to another folder, and hop back into Blender, select the plane, add a material, Control shift t with the shader selected, select all the maps, principled shader setup, and you can see it applied the material. So now you can see as I move the scene around, the, um, the little well, the cylinder there, and the floor have actual height information which allows for correct shadows and more realistic lighting. Now there's one more setting that you have to have on to be able to see this in the viewport. Under your material with each object, um, under settings and then surface, set the displacement option to displacement and bump. This will allow you to see all of the actual bumpiness in the viewport. Otherwise it won't show up. This is a really fast way to get great quality 3D textures. In videos coming up soon, I'll show you how I actually use this in a really cool scene. Thanks for watching and hope to see you soon.